So listen, y'all. So one day I'm coming down 18th, right? So I'm coming up on 34th Street. So as I'm coming up to the light, I'm in a far lane by the Chevron. So my baby in the back seat, my youngest daughter, she like, Mommy, dig on my daddy. So you know, I ain't paying it on mine. I'm trying to go home. So I'm coming up to the light. So she like, hey, Mommy, who that lady with my daddy? Skirt, what, what lady? Well, so now I'm looking. So I look over in the Shell's parking lot and I see my baby daddy park, right? So he's sitting in the driver's seat and his door open and it's a chick standing in the doorway. They talking and smiling, whatever they talking about. That shit's funny because you can see all his goals and you can see all her teeth. So I don't whip cross like four lanes of traffic to pull in where they at. So I pull up next to them. So immediately he stand up. She in the doorway. So she had to back up as soon as he stand up because he jump up and they looking all crazy. So when I pull up, I let the window down. I'm like, what's up? So he like, what's going on? So I'm like, what's up? So I think she kind of realized this like a family affair. So she started to walk off and she like, just call me. No, the fuck you won't get that phone call. I don't give a fuck what it was finna be about. You won't get that call, bitch. So she leaves, she get in her car, she pull off or whatever. So he's standing there looking crazy. So I'm still like, what's up? He like, what's up? I'm like, I just pulled up over here to see what the joke was, what was so funny. He was like, man, don't start, man. Man, she sell clothes, man. I was just buying some clothes off her. So I'm like, oh yeah, I just pulled up to see what the joke was about. That's all. I want to know what was so funny. What you mean, man? I was at the light and y'all smiling from ear to ear. So clearly she tell jokes or something. Something got to be funny. Man, man, don't start, man. Man, she sell clothes, man. I just bought this shirt off her. Man, I ain't had on no shirt all day. I just bought this polo shirt off her. So she a booster. Man, yeah, she sell clothes, man. So her polo shirts got jokes on them. Man, what you mean, man? Y'all was smiling from ear to ear. Something was real, real funny. She was smiling, you was smiling. So she tell jokes. You get a joke with every shirt you buy. Man, you tripping, man. So y'all know in my relationship slash situationship, I got one motherfucking rule. If you don't want me to say something about something, don't let me see it. I can't be mad or comment on some shit that I never seen. So he already know when I see some shit, oh bitch, I'ma take it to the extreme. So I'm in asshole mode. So her shirts got jokes on them. She do stand up comedy. She be telling jokes. She real funny. What y'all was laughing at? Why you was smiling so hard? How come when I buy clothes, I just pull up and give them the money, they give me the shirt and I pull off? Sometimes we don't even say nothing but hi to each other. She got good customer service. He like, man, here you go. You tripping, man. No, I ain't tripping. So the whole time we going back and forth, my baby in the back seat. Mommy, who that lady was? Daddy, who that lady is? Where's she going? Just making the shit worse. <laughs> so, you know, I'm in asshole mode. I'm going on and on because I want to know what the fuck the joke was about. Why I can't know what was funny? Why I can't stand in the doorway and kiki? So after a while, he like, man, she sell clothes, man. So, I know the chick. I done seen around. So, I know her for a couple things. I don't know her for no motherfucking selling clothes. You know, in our city, it's known boosters. I know the people that sell clothes. Bitch, everybody know them. She ain't one of the motherfucking ones. The bitch might be known for selling pussy. The bitch might be known for being old and ugly. But the bitch is not known for boosting no motherfucking clothes. But anywho, you say you bought a shirt. I pulled up over here to find out what the fuck was so funny. Man, all right, man. I won't buy no more clothes from her. Who said that? I came to find out what the joke was about. But you know, that was already a given once I pulled up and she was in the fucking doorway. You know you ain't finna buy no more clothes from her. I don't give a fuck if she steal the whole goddamn dealers or the whole polo section. You better not call that bitch for air motherfucking outfit, shirt, motherfucking belt, not nothing. Man, all right, man. All right, man, you tripping, man. All I did was buy a shirt, man. Listen, I ain't tripping. Like I said, I pulled up to find out what the joke was. If I pulled up and you told me what the joke was and that shit was real funny, I would have been cool. You can't even tell me what the fuck y'all was laughing about. That whole got good-ass motherfucking customer service. So he like, man, all right, man. All right, you ain't got to worry about me contacting her about nothing. About no clothes, no more, or nothing. So now I'm out of asshole mode. I'm back to regular mode. So I'm like... Okay, so what's up, babe? Man, no, man, I'm gone, man. Where you going? Come back, babe. What you want for dinner? Man, I'm gone, man. Why you mad? Why you mad? Because y'all were cheesing in each other's face and I pulled up. I ain't even act a donkey. I just want to know what the joke was. Polo shirts might come with jokes on them. 
she might do stand up comedy. I still ain't found out what the fuck was so funny. The moral of the story is, when your bitches is selling clothes, sell the clothes and get the fuck on. Why the fuck you gotta be all in the nigga, in a, in a nigga face? God damn. Get your money, keep it moving. Where the boosters at that's buy that cheese that pull up, sell that shit and keep going? God damn. This hoe standing all in the doorway smiling and shit. Just to sell one polo shirt. Damn, bitch. That's, you gotta do all of that? 